here we have one of our whirlpool baths. Something that people say often, and it's the same as the steam showers that we also do, that you would have seen in one of our other videos, is that, oh, I don't want the steam function. Well, it, it's a bit odd to say that until you've tried it. It's a life ex changing experience to have the steam in a shower. You have the health benefit, it makes you feel absolutely fantastic. It's at an absolute minimal cost to run the steam generator for a half an hour steam session where you're up to a very high temperature you're looking at about 15 pence per half an hour. So the cost is minimal, but the, the enjoyment from it and the additional cost to actually having the generator put in, which is approximately maybe five or 600 pounds, is absolutely life-changing. We have customers where we've seen them uh, maybe six months later after doing an installation where they come back just to say thank you. And it really is incredible the difference of how they look. They might have lost weight, They they look completely different, they're positive about life. It really is a life-changing experience. Anyone who steams loves it. Anyone who doesn't steam just doesn't understand it. It's just one of those things that you need to try and do. It's the same with baths. It's a little bit like going to a massage parlor and lying on the bed and not actually having the physical massage. This is not the system that we knew from years ago, which was the, that's Jacuzzi, 1956, the Jacuzzi brothers, they were mechanics. They took a normal bathtub, put an airline in it and made some bubbles in the bath. All is this did was created a sensation of the bubbles, no health benefit whatsoever, and cooled the water in the bath very quickly. As baths, the systems progressed, they then put in the pumps where it was pumping the water, air and water being mixed together. Same problem with cooling the bath and again it was just about sensation. It wasn't about the benefits of what these baths do today. And what they do today is a hydro massage therapy. This is exactly the same as a deep tissue sports massage. You, when you have this massage, you will come out of this bath completely revived, relaxed and you will feel the health benefits of what you've just had and the experience you've just had. Now an historic problem with these kinds of systems and this did evolve from jacuzzi was the manner in which the jets were connected together and the hygiene of the bath. All of this is addressed in this modern unit and you know it's only really been addressed with patented technology over the last five, six, seven years up until the present day where now it's perfected to a completely um, hygienic, bacteria-free experience. The historic problem that you had was the way that the jets were connected together, the system could retain water, which meant that in behind the bath, in the plumbing system, if small amounts of water were retained, it's fine if you were regularly having the bath, using the bath every two or three days, no problem at all. If you went on holiday for a period of time and the bath was left, those small pieces of retained water would be bacteria, it would have black bits in it, which are bacteria. Then when you come back in, fill the bath up, turn it on, you had all black bits in your bath. Now with this system, all of those problems are completely addressed. You do not have these kinds of issues any, anymore in this quality of bath. It uses a dual pipe system, so you have um, water going from jet to jet to jet, but then you have a secondary system that will also bleed the system completely of air. You also have painted technology in all of the jets, so the jet will drain completely 100% to be free from water. So when the bath drains now, all of the water is completely drained from the system and no water is retained within the system at all. So we now have a hygienic hydro massage whirlpool bath as opposed to what we had historically, which was a sensation. It was more of a gimmick. This is not a gimmick. This is good for anybody who does sport, anybody with any kind of injuries, anybody for relaxing. I don't know for those of you who have ever tried reflexology, I can only recommend it's one of the best things you'll ever do if you actually go and experience it. It's a foot massage. Um, all of your, all of, oh, everything within your body circulates from 
your head down, your body, round your feet and then back up again. What happens is during that circulation, everything gets trapped in your feet and blocked in your feet because it has to go down to your feet and make the journey back again. Reflexology is the art of, first of all, detecting any problems with your health, and it's incredible what a reflexologist can actually detect. You know, sleeping patterns, if you're not sleeping, sleeping, if you've got dietary problems, if you've got any health issues, because they can actually feel the blockages in that part of the foot, and that part of the foot relates to that part of the circulation of the body. Now, once this is massaged out, you increase the circulation again, you feel absolutely fantastic. Even going to the reflexologist, you will actually, afterwards, a good reflexologist will put you to sleep because it's so relaxing. But you will also feel great afterwards for many days after, you'll sleep better, and it really is an all round good experience. Now, no other mechanical means can simulate that massage other than the hydro massage bath. You have two very big jets either end here, they're on eyeball sockets so they're positionable and you can replicate exactly the same kind of massage that you would through reflexology by putting your feet over the jet and gently moving your foot over and you will have exactly that same, same sensation. Now there's machines that you could buy, I mean, I've seen them in Argos, and with bearings that go around to try and create the same kind of simulation and stimulation as reflexology, but they don't work, it's absolutely awful. It will make you want to destroy the thing, not feel relaxed and having the benefits of true reflexology. So what we've got to look at primarily is that this is a, a massage, deep tissue, Whirlpool Hydro system. It's not what was historic with jacuzzi systems, a sensation. Now we have other things going on here. We also have on this particular model a micro bubble system. Now what that does is create nano bubbles, so very very fine small bubbles. And what those nano bubbles do is they will get into the skin, they'll clean the skin and afterwards you'll come out feeling very um, fresh and clean because of those very very small nano bubbles going all over your body. Now with this particular unit that's an extra, it's not available on all, all of our Whirlpool systems but it's another very nice feature. This, this system also has, now you, you'll see here that the, the jets are all back inside the bath, so even if we don't have a hydro bath, when the bath is filled with water, it's a deep bath, we are then very neutrally buoyant. In other words, we have, haven't got any weight that we're depressing down onto any part of the bar. So all of this we can't feel, we're just floating. In fact, your head being rested on this headrest, you're then just floating in the bath because you've got the depth to be able to do that. That's either if you have the hydro on or if you don't have the hydro on. So it's a comfortable bath. And at the end of the day, if you're gonna spend some time in the bath, you need to be and want to be comfortable. What this bath also has, there's many features. Um, features are optional on bars, so you can have them or not have them, but it's one of those things like we said and mentioned earlier, whereby it's a bit like going to the masseuse and lying on the bed and just having a little sleep as opposed to having all of the features of the massage. You can have your Indian head massage, your reflexology, your full body massage, your sports massage, and all of these different types of massage, all of them have a benefit one way or another. Same with the bath. We have lots of different features and functions in the bath that all offer different types of simulation, stimulation, and health benefits and benefits to you feeling relaxed. If we have a look at, uh, this is a lovely feature. Uh, we have a remote control here, waterproof, so we can drop this in the bath and it's still gonna float around. This here is a touch screen, as we can see, it tells us what's what. We have general features on here, which is our mood lighting. We have radio, we have a TV, the TV is optional, you can have it or not have it. This is the TV here at the end of the bath, it's a waterproof TV. You can see it's a very modern design. Okay, so here we can see the TV in a little bit more detail. This is the um, factory television, this is again optional, so we could have this or not have this, or we could have a big 
mirror for example here that goes this kind of um, size full width and then we can actually put the TV inside it so when the TV is not on it's completely hidden and then when you turn it on it just comes up inside the mirror you can see this on the other part of our website where the TVs are TV can be connected to either a DVD player directly or you could connect it to cable or if you've got a network system in your house it's just a TV so it will take any signal it will also connect to your computer should you want to um, stream anything through the computer or if you have any reason that you'd want to use the computer or a function of the computer through the TV. You also have an audio system that's built in underneath the bar so the speakers of, of a high quality, it's a very good sound system, so you can um, enjoy the music from either the radio or from an external device, MP3, etc. Or you can obviously enjoy the sound quality of the television. This one that we're looking at here, it has the factory TV, it has the touch screen controls, it has the radio built in, it also has integral heaters. So the integral heaters are a, a very nice feature. When we're in the bath, the, normally the bath water will cool gradually as the heat dissipates through, out through the bath and obviously into the environment around us, into the cool air. The internal heaters, we can actually set and program so the bath water will completely remain constant. We can also just, if we want to, increase the temperature on the remote control and the internal heaters will just kick in and gently heat the water. We're unaware of what's going on, so it means all the time that we're in the bath, we're always in the bath at exactly the water temperature that we want. We also have, as you can see, these lights that come on. This is chromotherapy mood lighting. Now, you can't really see this. You're gonna to have to use a little bit of imagination. This lights up all of the water. So, as we can see the lights now, with these on blue, all of this water is sparkling blue. It, it's a very relaxing environment to be in with the lights down or dimmed in the room or the rooms lighting up with the same colour being reflected and magnified from the water that's, that's contained within the bath, the lights being underneath. We have lots of colour options and you can see here it's actually mixing um, primary colours together and on this last function, it'll actually slowly rotate through the different colours or each time we press it, we're actually choosing the colours that we want. They're LED lights, so the LEDs have a 2000 hour shelf life. Should they ever need replacing, they're very easy, they just unscrew from the bottom, they're plug and play. Everything that you see in here, same as the showers, the components, the TV, the display, the, the lights, everything to do with the electronic controls, everything's plug and play. So should a component ever fail, it's very easy just to swap it out. Just simply take this part out, it just unplugs, put the new one in. But like I say, it's a 2000 shelf life LED, so you can have an awful lot of bars and an awful lot of lit water before you need to ever change a bulb. And obviously 2000 is a recommendation, doesn't mean it can't be go on for 10,000. So we can see now that's off the lights, then each time we press it, we choose our colour, or on the last option, it will gently rotate through all of the colours. Now what we can also see in these jets here, is these are jets, they're not just lights. So in the bottom of the bath here, we have a system that does mix air and water together, it does create that sensation. So we have the sensation, we have the hydro massage system, and we also have the micro bubble system. So you actually have three systems contained within this bath. You can see here, this is the, to, to, for us to be able to increase, decrease the power of the jets. We can also increase, decrease the power of the jets on here. We can uh, turn on and off from here, the micro bubble filtration system. We can have, we have the fun feature, which is the bottom jet system. We can program the jets. We have here the heater function, whereby we can actually control the heat of the water within the bath. We have our FM pre-10 preset radio stations. 
We can also connect the bath wirelessly to any music device in the house. So that could be a CD player in another room, that could be to our MP3, to our the music on our phone. Um, we also have the TV. Now the TV in this particular unit that we have in the showroom is connected to Freeview. So it's, it's nice, you can connect it to your Sky or your Virgin or your cable, whichever type of um, TV you have. It can be connected to a DVD player. It can be connected to your in-house system so that you have the stereo and you have your TV and everything that, that you have networked throughout your house. It can also be coming into the bath. To fill a bath, we have um, our Hong Kong mixer to turn it on and off. So this is our flow rate, our water volume control. And this one here is our diverter valve. So our diverter valve gives us the option to either use a tap facility to fill the bath through the jets, or we have a traditional hand shower. Everything's rubber tipped. It's rubber tipped so lime scale is easily broken off and the jets don't block, so we just rub our finger over it or we rub our hands over it and it breaks all the lime scale. As we know that showers, you know, they're the, the either blocked, stop working, or the, or the little jets of water start going off in different directions. This is because of lime scale build up within the jets if they're not rubber tipped. So if this is just plastic, like many showers are, shower heads are, then the only way you're going to clean the head is to use a pin and actually poke each one to clean it out. A rubber tip one, as the lime scale um, builds up in here, if you haven't been cleaning it, then the, the lime scale goes incredibly hard, it's very brittle, and you literally just brush your hand over it, breaks all the lime scale, and off you go with your perfect showering. Now a nice thing about this, as you can see, it's incredibly long. We can use this for washing our hair, but it's also fantastic for cleaning the bath. So our primary bath features and functions. Like I said, we can have it with these options of the electronics or not. We'd obviously want to have some electronics to be able to control the hydro massage. Um, once you have one of these units, it's one of those things you never go back away from. Like, same as the steam showers. It, it's, it's a life experience. It's something that you really enjoy. Historically, for the last 120 years, we've not really had anything in the bathroom that was an enjoyment. The kitchen's evolved over all of these years. We have things that now wash our dishes for us and we have things that cook for us and we have things that, that dispense ice and do this and do that and we have TVs and all this kind of stuff. The kitchen's evolved. Whereas for the last hundred years, the bathroom just stayed stagnant. We had um, the, the Victorians who first had the concept of bathing and baths as we have known them for the last hundred years. World War I introduced the the, the concept of the shower, and we kind of, because of water saving, and we've kind of just not evolved from that period in the bathroom, yet we spend an awful lot of our time and life within the bathroom. It's an environment that we enjoy an awful lot because we're closed away, it's uh, relaxing, it's enjoyable, we always feel better after showering or bathing, and yet it just hasn't evolved. Well, now everything that we do in the bathroom, we have appliances that you put in, you can take out, you can swap, you can upgrade. This is an appliance, so it's freestanding. It can go with you when you move if you want to. So same thing as the showers. If we're going to um, prepare the area prior to having an appliance, we would fully tile all of the floor or put down all of the floor that we're having. It might be a wood floor or what have you. We've completely finished the area around where we're going to put the bath. Now this could be tiled or it could be plastered or what, whatever we're going to do with the roof. Then this fits in and it's a freestanding appliance. It is, it is not part of the house. It's a fixture and fitting that's an option. It's a very personal thing, a bath. It's, if, if, we, if we buy a house and the bath's already there, it's one of the things you don't really want to get in because it's somebody else's. Whereas with this, we have the option where we can take it away with us. If we've done the preparation properly, we're leaving a space for the next people to come and put whichever type of unit they want in where this was. Or we can leave it for the other people if we have the option. Whereas before, we, we've done, well, it's quite atrocious really, what we've done for the last 100 years. We've just had this um, very, very basic bath and, and we were kind of in and out. We didn't enjoy the experience as much as what we can today. 
Now, the materials that are involved in this particular unit, we can see on here, this is actually made from Corian. Corian's a mad main material. It's, um, it has a density of a stone, um, but it is man-made. It means that it can be worked, so it's easy to sand. Um, it's an American painted and derived product. Um, we have lots of options with this. This surround can be any colour that we want. We can also make it in wood, it could be solid oak, it could be solid teak. We can also do things like onyx or granite or marble. Pretty much anything that you desire, that surround could be made to suit whichever product project you're doing. Now, the bath as we can see now, it looks like it's a sunken bath. It's optional to sink the bath. You don't have to sink the bath. It's standing on its own subframe, it's standing on its own feet. The feet are all adjustable, so it's very easy to level. If we want to sink it into the floor, we can sink it into the floor and then we're just walking down into the bath. But this is just an option. This is just something it can or can't do. We can also just have it on the floor like this and then we panel in the edges that we want to panel in. We can put steps up to the bath. We can make them. You can have a carpenter make them. You can make them out of wood. You can make them out of tile. You can make them out of stone. Whatever you're trying to achieve in the bathroom. So this will work in any situation. We're looking at a double one here today. We also do it as a single one. We do it as quadrant. We do it as an offset. There's lots of different options with the unit. When it comes to the tubs, pretty much there's unlimited sizes and options available. With the tub itself, we can't do made to measure like we can with the showers for the simple reason of the cost of the mold. Everything's possible if you don't have a a harsh budget or, or you're very open-minded as to the expense that you want to spend, we can make anything that you want. So we can make a bath for you if you're not on a budget. That said, we have so many different models of baths and shapes and sizes with different functions, features, there really is something for everyone. Now, it's hard to actually see the quality of each unit Everybody's always stunned and shocked when they actually see our products in real life. The internet, as hard as we try to put across the quality of the unit in photography, I hope this video helps and I hope some of the photography that we're doing now is going to help. But it just never looks as good as it should and does in real life. All of our customers are incredibly surprised when they really see it. It's not something that's available at the moment in the high street. It's something that you're probably not going to see in the high street for an awful long time. And if you do, it will be increased by 40 or 50% to the value that it is today. You can currently buy it directly online or from one of our showrooms. We're actually based in London and Bristol. So lots of options with the bathtub. Look at it as a lifestyle thing, which is what it is. It's not just... Um, a bath anymore. This is something you're actually going to spend quality time in. If you have two, you might want to spend it with your partner. This is a life-changing experience as are the steam showers. Now we're going to move on into another video later on and we're actually going to see that this can now be combined as a bathtub and a shower, steam shower, combination unit all combined in one. So if we have restrictive space, if we want an enclosed environment, then this is another option. So first of all, we have the shower, the steam shower. Each of the steam showers, it's again optional. Whether or not we have the steam facility or not, we don't have to have the steam facility, but to have it really is life-changing. Same with the Whirlpool bars. We can have the TV, we can have the radio or not. We can have the micro bubble system or not. Again, what you're doing is having it made and all, so we're manufacturing it for you and it's made for you to your requirements, your specifications. Like we discussed with the surround, it can change colour. The panelling can be built and made to your requirements by whoever your builders are, or your carpenter, or your tiler, or a professional tradesman that you have employed the services of to create exactly what you want. Okay, so, so on this particular model here, we have 1.5 horsepower pumps times two. So there's two pumps, so this is three horsepower a power that to create the hydro massage system. It's controllable how strong we have it, so it, this really is suitable for everyone. It doesn't matter how hard or vigorous you like to have that massage, 
this will cater for you. Or if you like something gentler and milder, then you can turn it down. It's just nice to have the power there, should you want to have it. The pumps are 50 decibels, less than 50 decibels in noise each pump. So it's a hum as opposed to a noise. The splashing and the movement of the water completely detracts from the sound of the pump. So you're unaware, you're not really conscious of the pumps. It's certainly not annoying. It's more of a relaxing hum as opposed to you can still sit in here, watch the TV, and you're not aware of it, even with the hydro system going or the micro bubble system going. So with regards, we've already mentioned all of our components in here, modular, plug and play, so should we ever want to replace them, it's very easy to do so. Now to actually fix the bath, it's very easy, it comes with a single waist, the waist is flexible, it rotates 360 degrees, it concertinas in and out between 300 and 1.2 metres. We then connect that to our standard UK waste fitting, 40 or 50 mil fitting. So the connection of the waste is incredibly easy. We connect the hot and cold feed via flexi pipes, so maybe one metre long flexis off of isolation valves. So isolation valves are stop taps. So you're going to come up with your isolation valve, 15 mil, 15 mil flexis to the mixer on the bath and then we have our electrical connection on this particular one because we have the heaters obviously we're going to check with each um, bath the requirements and specifications of the electrics and this is something for your electrician to confirm what you require this one will probably be put on a 13 amp supply um, depending on the output of the heaters and the pump so just a 13 amp supply single electrical cable waterproof junction box outside fuse spur of the bathroom um, but like I say this is down to the current regulations of electrics and it's for your electrician to confirm exactly the connection and the amperage the fuse that you're going to require. What you need to know is that it's obviously easy to connect and to install. This isn't complicated whatsoever. The materials that have used, we've already seen the surround and the options of the surround. So this is Corian. We also have um, an option of oak. It can be light oak, dark oak, different coloured oak. It could be painted white, the surround. It could be solid marble. It could be granite. It could be whatever you require. Some of the stuff we can provide with regards to options of different types of materials. There might be something or a company you're already working with here that are doing a theme of stone throughout the house and maybe you want to have this made. In which case we can provide the schematic drawing for the surround, um, which is a technical detailed drawing, where to put the holes and the dimensions and everything else. The bathtub can be ordered then without the surround and then it can be fitted in situ on site once the bath arrives. The, the actual bathtub itself is solid fiberglass. It's between 10 and 12 millimeter fiberglass. The gel coat is then applied on the top and polished so it's completely smooth and very, very easy to clean. Bacteria, lime scale, soap can't get in, into this because of the surface is incredibly smooth and the way that it's been polished. Now what this will also do because it's fiberglass and the density of the fiberglass is it means it will retain heat. So heat's not going to dissipate quickly through it like steel baths would or like um, a thinner acrylic bath will. Now the problem that you'll also have and probably have experienced before with acrylic baths is that they can haze, discolour and crack. You'll find that on an acrylic bath when it reaches a certain age you'll either have hazing or it can yellow. Now with this, this bath will stay looking arctic white forever. This is the same type of technology that you'll find in a multi-million pound, million pound yacht. This will never haze, discolour or crack, it's very easy to clean and it's always going to stay looking arctic white. The actual tub then is sitting on a stainless steel subframe, the stainless steel subframe is sitting on feet that are adjustable. So. Like we mentioned before, this is an appliance. It's a freestanding appliance and it just sits in the room wherever you want to have it or if you're putting it into a sunken floor area and it's completely freestanding. I hope this has been um, 
a little bit educational with regards to Whirlpool bars and hydro systems. Please have a look at the other ones that we have on the website with regards to size and specifications. There's lots of different options with regards to price. Everything that we do is of a very, very high quality and I'm, all of our customers would certainly agree with this. Um, yeah, I hope this has been educational.